This year marks the 40th anniversary of Hospice Buffalo. Let's look back on what we've achieved together, the organization's early days, its formative years, and where it stands today as a nationally recognized healthcare leader. Hospice Buffalo's roots track back to the 1960s when Dr. Donald and Charlotte Shedd were motivated by Dr. Cicely Saunders, the founder of the modern hospice movement. The Sheds were inspired by Dr. Saunders' dedication to revolutionizing care for the dying while honoring human dignity, and so they began laying the foundation for Hospice Buffalo. Her goal was clear, to address the care of those needlessly suffering at the end of life. By 1974, the Sheds surrounded themselves with a group of caring individuals as an ad hoc board who shared the Sheds' vision to establish Hospice Buffalo. This was inspired by the volunteer leadership of our first medical director, Dr. Robert A. Milch. My father used to say that every surgeon should have three qualities. He should have a sense of humility, should have a sense of humor, and should have an incision. Because once you start to understand what the patient is going through, if you're going to find that kernel of compassion within yourself, that's the start of it. The 1990s saw Hospice Buffalo transition from an early grassroots movement to a recognized and respected leader. After a two-year campaign spearheaded under the volunteer leadership of Jock Mitchell, more than $5.2 million was raised to complete the state-of-the-art Hospice Mitchell campus built on 28 wooded acres in Cheektowaga. In March 1995, the new home for hospice was unveiled, completing the dream of expanding and unifying services on a single campus. Palliative and hospice care, spiritual care, bereavement, counseling for patients' loved ones, and community grief support. Hospice Buffalo has played a lead role in bringing palliative care to our community with our Home Connections program, improving the quality of life for those suffering with severe illness but who are not yet ready for hospice. Most people have the wrong attitude as far as thinking of this as end of life, when in reality it's not. The care is there to help you live as long as you can live. I think it will extend your life if you do it at an earlier point. The introduction of art, massage, and music therapies has brought great comfort to these patients as well as their families. From its inception, the hospice movement was led and won by this group of determined pioneers. Their legacy of commitment, volunteering, and advocacy are the backbone of Hospice Buffalo today and Hospice Buffalo's commitment to providing exceptional end-of-life care and extraordinary experiences continues to this day. The generosity of our community and benefactors like you are essential, enabling Hospice Buffalo to continue to thrive and meet the needs of patients and families in the most innovative, compassionate, and timely way. Thank you for supporting us and making these achievements possible through your continued generosity.